I'm Ashley Esqueda, and it's time for another installment of Just Show Me on Tekka TV, where we take your tech toys and gadgets and show you how to get the most out of them. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Reading List in Safari for Mac. A Reading List is a great feature that enables you to save a website so that you can read it later quickly and easily. You don't have to bookmark anything or give it a name or put it in a folder. It's a great way to save an article for quick reading later. Let's take a look. From our Mac's desktop, we want to open Safari. And from there, we're actually going to go to a site like Tekka.com where we might want to see some content that we want to save for later. Hot summer shows you don't want to miss. So now that we're here, we can see there's a whole bunch of different things happening. We've got a slideshow, but maybe I don't have time to read it. Well, this is where Reading List comes in handy. All you have to do is click on this tiny eyeglass right here on the upper left side of your Safari screen and you will get a sidebar that shows you some of the things that you already have in your reading list or it could be empty if you've never used it before. I'm going to click on add page right here in the sidebar and you can see there it is right there and if you want to close out your reading list all you have to do is click on that eyeglass again and it will slide over and you don't have to see it anymore. Now even if you've shut off your MacBook or closed out Safari, you can still return to your reading list at any time by opening Safari and clicking on those eyeglasses. You can see we've reopened Safari now and we are going to click on our reading list. So we're going to go to our eyeglasses here and click on them. Now I'm on Apple.com. I've been looking at those new MacBooks. I'm excited about it, but what about that Tekka article that I wanted to check out? Well, there it is right there at the bottom of our reading list. When you click on it, you're automatically taken to the page and I can get back to reading what's most important to me. Well, the reading list is a great feature if you are just looking to save an article for reading later and don't necessarily need to access it over and over again like you would a bookmark. So you can use reading list for anything that you might not have time to read now but want to come back to later without having to remember a huge, huge URL. That's it for Just Show Me on Tekka TV. Be sure to check out Tekka.com for all of our other content and we'll see you next time.